In Alien Romulus, the idea of 3D printing facehuggers is introduced in a subtle, yet chilling way. This terrifying process signals just how far Wayland yutani is willing to go in their relentless pursuit of weaponizing the xenomorph species. This advanced technology is confirmed via the phrase, specimens completed, 36, printing paused, displayed on a monitor during one of the film's more intense moments. It suggests that the company has developed a process to artificially produce facehuggers using a form of bioprinting. Facehuggers, as explained throughout the franchise, are a crucial part of the xenomorph life cycle. These small, agile parasites implant xenomorph embryos into living hosts, allowing the species to propagate. Without facehuggers, xenomorphs wouldn't exist. But in Romulus, this biological process has been industrialized and optimized by Wayland yutani no longer dependent on the natural reproductive cycle of xenomorph queens. The company has found a way to replicate and accelerate this process by using alien DNA and the mysterious black goo to synthetically recreate the facehuggers in a lab setting. The black goo, a powerful mutagenic substance introduced in Prometheus, plays a key role in this bioprinting process. It allows Wayland yutani to extract the genetic material necessary to create new facehuggers from stored samples of xenomorph DNA. This means that rather than relying on dangerous expeditions to xenomorph hives or encountering queens in the wild, the company can now generate these terrifying parasites whenever needed, vastly increasing their control over the xenomorph reproductive cycle. The facehuggers created in this way are identical to their naturally occurring counterparts, with the same disturbing anatomy and horrifying capabilities. They possess long, spindly legs, a whip-like tail for gripping their prey, and a proboscis designed to implant an embryo into a host. The film emphasizes just how efficient and deadly these creatures are, especially during several scenes where they are shown hunting their prey using thermo-auditory senses tracking humans based on body heat. One scene in Romulus highlights the full horror of Wayland yutanis technological breakthrough. After an accidental release of the printed facehuggers, they begin to unfreeze and complete their formation, rapidly transitioning from inert specimens to deadly predators. Oh my God, I've never seen anything like it. Doctor, what is it, doctor? I'm fine. Get the t-shirt. As the room's temperature rises, the frozen facehuggers fill out, their biological components coming to life as they prepare to find hosts. This visual underscores the terrifying efficiency of the bioprinting process, turning the space station into a breeding ground for xenomorphs. The industrialized production of facehuggers opens up a world of horrifying possibilities for Wayland yutani By printing facehuggers en masse, they are not only able to weaponize the xenomorph species at an unprecedented scale, but also to ensure that entire human colonies could be converted into breeding grounds. This dark potential is explored throughout Romulus, where the crew is constantly on the run from these lethal creatures, knowing that even a single encounter could mean the birth of another xenomorph. The film doesn't shy away from emphasizing the full horror of these artificially produced facehuggers. While previous installments in the Alien franchise often shifted the focus to the fully grown xenomorphs, Romulus centers much of its terror around the facehuggers themselves. In one particularly tense scene, the crew is forced to navigate a corridor infested with facehuggers by adjusting the room's temperature to match their own body heat. This makes them temporarily invisible to the facehuggers' thermoauditory senses, but the scene is fraught with danger as the creatures scuttle around attempting to detect any sign of a viable host. Another key sequence shows the facehuggers in all their gruesome detail as they prepare to implant their embryos. During a confrontation between Tyler, Bjorn, and a facehugger, the audience is given a close-up view of the creature's proboscis as it attempts to force its way down Tyler's throat. The film lingers on this moment, emphasizing the invasive and violating nature of the process. It shows that the facehuggers are not merely agents of procreation for the xenomorphs, but creatures that embody one of the franchise's most disturbing themes, the loss of bodily autonomy and the horrifying inevitability of death. 
As Romulus progresses, it becomes clear that Wayland yutanis facehugger bioprinting technology represents a terrifying escalation in their experiments with xenomorphs. The company's willingness to exploit this technology demonstrates their relentless pursuit of control, even at the expense of countless human lives. In the end, the bioprinted facehuggers are more than just parasites. They are the ultimate expression of Wayland yutanis cold, calculated ambition to harness the deadliest creatures in the universe for their own gain. So what did you think of this reveal of facehuggers being printed? Please leave a comment below. Also check out the I'm Fine t-shirt in our store, the perfect gift for sci-fi fans. Until next time, stay frosty and alert.